one of our highlights of the year uh, because tennis is played year-round, even though we only have 20 total dates for Division Three, is our Hilton Head trip, which we've been making for the last seven or eight years. And they get a chance to play four or five matches against teams from other parts of the country. That's what makes it so exciting. Uh, we see teams from Wisconsin and Missouri. Uh, this year we intend to play uh, Rensselaer Polytech. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Westminster College out of Missouri, Greenville College out of Illinois uh, for the starters. Uh, the kids really enjoy that trip. And we usually play some teams that are very, very good. And when it uh, comes time to uh, maybe sending in information about the national tournament, if you can beat someone that's won a conference in Wisconsin or Minnesota, that, that plays pretty well on your record. Well, one of the uh, situations for us this year is we've lost our number one, who will not be back in school, and she was an all-conference singles and doubles player for two years. That's going to hurt the lineup because we don't have anyone new that's at uh, that caliber. We also graduated two seniors who basically were overachievers and uh, did very well. And did a lot of little stuff that, that leaders uh, have to do. Uh, they're gone, so uh, that's, that's going to hurt us in that, in that end of, uh, of the team structure. We have a senior named Jacqueline Britton, very bright student, uh, but she was one that improved tremendously throughout uh, the year. Uh, in fact, she had a key win for us to upset uh, uh, one of those good teams down at Hilton Head, so uh, she's she's good leader for us, and uh, probably Kay Bendijo, uh, who came to school after deciding uh, she wasn't sure about college, um, and she's been overshadowed a little bit because her sister is the number one player in the Northeast region, and uh, Kay's a good player in her own right, and she worked very hard last year, so I expect her to be number one. We have four new girls I expect to challenge for the lineup. Uh, one uh, was here at Stockton this year. I recruited her, uh, Laura Church. She's from the Rainey School, was on a team that won the non-public uh, B title. And she wasn't sure she could handle college and tennis and everything, but now she's found her way and she's going to be a good addition for us. Uh, Samantha Korupchek out of West Milford played number one there. Uh, she's very good tennis player. Uh, hopefully she'll challenge for a high-end spot. I'm looking forward to see her on the court. Uh, Haley Simon from Bishop McCarrick played number one there. Very steady, good athlete. She should help us in the singles. And um, a, a typical uh, newcomer that um, exemplifies what we're looking for this year is Scott Bauer from Haddon Township. She played singles on a team that uh, won the South Jersey sections and uh, would almost a state title in, uh, in Group 1. She's a scrapper, and these girls run for every ball, and they've got a lot to learn about being more aggressive at a more mature level, but they're, they're great, great basis, great foundation. Well, I think every team in the league has a little bit of a different objective. Um, TCNJ has been a dominant power. They're just too strong um, for us at the moment and for, and the uh, rest of the league. But we've never had enough teams for automatic qualification. What that meant to Stockton uh, and to me is that even when we had a couple of great teams with only one or two losses a few years ago, we deserved to be in a national tournament, but we were in the same pool with the team that was champion of our conference. Now, if they, they will get an automatic bid, and now for the first time, uh, Stockton, like in our other sports, many of our good teams didn't win a championship, but they went to the Nationals. We will have an opportunity now uh, to go to the, to the Nationals, even if we don't win the conference, and that's very important for us. So our goals have changed where every single team match is very important. Well, one of the things that um, did not play as well for us last year was our doubles play. For some reason, that, that's always been um, a strength of ours. We've had good singles players, sometimes not very many great ones, but we would win two or three of those doubles points in, uh, in helping them decide matches. We've been able to work with those kids and, um, and develop a good, good solid scheme. Last year was a letdown. We didn't win as many uh, big matches uh, playing doubles as, as I thought we should have or could have. 
so that's one area that we must improve on to be, have a successful season. I think this is my 11th year uh, uh, coming up. Um, there are a lot of reasons to love the college out here and, and to love coaching out here. Um, Part of it is that the administrative staff is very helpful. Uh, they don't lord it over you. I coached over 30 years in high school, and, and the athletic director told you who you're playing, and there would be a lot of discussion when you wanted to change certain things. But here there's a lot of freedom for all the coaches, and I think that's appreciated. But most important about the college are the kids. Um, I've been around to a lot of colleges. I have my own children that have gone to uh, different colleges. The kids are just very nice and polite and fun to be around and um, the kids that are friendly with girls on a tennis team do come and watch the matches uh, and support the team and our girls go and support the soccer and so on so um, there's, there's a lot of togetherness with all the kids on campus I'm very impressed by that.